Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for another Sims 4 Langley household um, video. So um, please pardon me if I sound kind of odd. I just finished eating some Cheez-Its and you know the Cheez-Its do things to you you know and they are delicious and fabulous but sometimes they stick to your gums and you're like oh no and it's like really annoying. But any who's a all we are back my friends and um in the last part i believe it was in the last part i might be wrong i might be thinking the part before the last part but in one of these recent parts i did have my dear darling son here jackson um try and make a few connections with some other kids his age so that we could maybe you know hang out with people make some friends maybe make some more than friends, you know? Um, but that was fun. And of course, of course, of course, of course, ooh, we are going to be having this baby in no time flat. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be having the baby in this part or if it'll be in the next part. I'm hoping it's this part because I feel like it's been five years that we've been waiting for this baby. But, um... I also can't remember if we have told Alexander yet, but I imagine he has to know by now, especially if he, you know, if, if she has been kind of avoiding him a little and, you know, not really talking to him, not really reaching out to have him come over, I'm pretty sure he'd probably start to get the hint, you know, he'd start to kind of catch on that something is up with his girlfriend and... It would only be sensible for Anna to be avoiding him if she thought she was hiding something that could ruin their relationship. Um, why women automatically jump to that conclusion when it comes to babies and not out of, out of wedlock is beyond me. <laughs> um, I mean, I think for a lot of situations it would ruin the relationship because a lot of men are not really men, you know? But... Alexander's not the type of person, he's just not the type of person who would walk away from his child and the mother of his child. It's it's something that's important to him. He's His mother is very family-oriented, and she's always instilled that in him. And, you know, he's the same way. If it's his baby, his child, his flesh and blood, you can bet your booty that he's going to be a part of that kid's life, so... Um, I think she's worrying for no real reason, but I also understand it at the same time. So she's getting a little bit of shut-eye right now. Everybody's getting some shut-eye except for Marissa at the moment because she did wake up kind of early, feeling the need to um, hang about and do some stuff. She's going to go and I think, she, yep, she's going to clean that up. Um, Marissa, on the other hand has been having more of the same issues you know just kind of feeling like she's a little trapped and feeling the need to spread her wings just a wee bit so what we might do with my dear marissa is get her to uh, kind of head out on the town with her buddy germa right here and um you know maybe have a little some fun fun happy times you know you never know what's gonna happen um so we will get ourselves onto that probably in the morning. Uh, maybe I'll send this guy out to, um, when does he work again, actually? I feel like he hasn't worked in a million, two days? He works in two days. Why two days? 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Jeez, he's never going to freaking <laughs> gain a level in his career because he never goes to work. I'm so confused. But I suppose he is kind of getting to he's getting a little old. Maybe it is time for him to kind of cut back. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Cut back on the work hours a little. Um, speaking of which, I actually am freshly home from work. Um, I worked this morning. It was pretty chill no big deal made a good little bit of money so i'm happy oh <gasps> marissa oh my goodness if you know your son is in the bathroom why would you walk into the bathroom to talk to him like he's just hanging out in there 
because that's a thing that people do. They just hang out in the bathroom like, Marissa, I'm going to have to ask you to stop it. <laughs> Alrighty, so she clearly wants to socialize a little bit. So, um, obviously they're not going to be socializing with each other for the moment being. Um, since she did just embarrass the crap out of her son. So we'll just give them a little bit of space. He's not feeling so hot at the moment. Why don't we go ahead and take a bath? Since he is a little dirty. <gasps> oh my god, really? Do all of you guys have to walk in on each other? Like, that's just naughty. That's so rude. But uh, she is the pregnant one. And the pregnant one, you know. she If she, got, if she has to go to the bathroom, she has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> all right. She's extremely hungry, so it's very important that we get her downstairs and get some grub in her tummy, for she is eating for two, of course. So I'm going to send her down to grab a serving once she's done with her bath. They're having a little bit of a conversation. We're going to tell her an engaging story, brighten her day, um, give her a heartfelt compliment. Jackson really loves his mom. Like, he isn't as close to his dad but when it comes to his mother even though they aren't you know they're not super duper close they don't know everything about each other's lives some things are kind of awkward between them he loves her like she is very important to him and you know she's he's an only child and she's his mom and she loves him and i feel like a part of him knows in his heart that it's not easy for her to to do what she does and i think he realizes that and recognizes that and really truly appreciate can appreciate it okay guys so we're giving birth at any minute so literally at any moment in this whole part um she could give birth which is really exciting because we have a solid good bit of time left in this part so it might happen it might not i don't know um She's going to need to go to work soon, my dear. She has to mod two games. So it might be, oh, I don't want to spend the money on a computer when I'm trying to save up to build in the backyard. I wish I knew some, like, quick, tricky type of ways to make money in this game. Because I think the hardest thing for me with The Sims 4 is m earning money. Um, it's a good bit harder <laughs> than it was in The Sims 3, obviously. Uh, there were all kinds of little ways that you could get more money. Little kind of tricks and treats. Um, we do have satisfaction points, but I don't think you can redeem those for money. An analyst asked Anna to calculate some trajectories for satellite orbits, which is a total snooze fest, and Anna's already busy. She can either try to find a formula to make the equations easier or calculate each one by hand. Let's try and find a formula. Oh, she gained some money. Anna stumbles on the right formula, then expected she shares to do the best team. Awesome. So she did gain some performance. Oh, my God, Jefferson. You are an adult. In fact, you are an elder. I'm going to need you to calm down, boo-boo. <laughs> you are having too much fun in the bathtub. All right, so when does she get home? She gets home late. So whenever she does get home, I think we'll go ahead and invite Jeremiah over and um, have them spend a little bit, spend a little bit of time together. Um, let's see. What can we redeem this for? Instant fun... Potion of new youth. Marketable Sims sell items they've crafted for more simoleons. Hmm. I suppose we could try and like um, gather things and maybe by gathering stuff we can make a few bucks. I'm not really sure what we should do do to get the moolahs flowing because i mean the money is just not coming <laughs> it just isn't oh he dug up a treasure map what the hey okay put that in your inventory an old worn it might be a good idea to keep this in your sims inventory before they start digging oh so maybe this will help the digging process? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. 
Um, not quite sure what that is supposed to do, but I suppose it'll be interesting to find out. Um, is there anywhere else we can dig over here? I really don't think there is, to be quite honest. Um, nope, it does not look like it. So, unless we can go over here. Can we? Huh! We can go all the way over here. Interesting. Okay, we got some stuff to dig over here, so let's go ahead and do that. And then maybe we'll harvest the sage bush. It won't be worth much, but it might be worth something. Um, what is this? Oh, he can look for frogs. He got one heavy metal, so we can call the Geo Council about the sample. And then let's go look for some froggies. These are worth $2 a piece. So let's go ahead and um, how do we do this? Ooh, that was a rare frog. I think you can breed frogs as well in this game, I want to say. Can we stop? Okay. Do you want to sell all items? Yes, I do. Okay, so that gave us 20 bucks. Right now, I'm going to hang on to the frog to see if we can't breed it later. And then we'll go dig some more. Just finding things. Um, extract fossil. Prehistoric bird worth 75 dollars. So we're going to call the Geo Council about that real quick. And then let's just kind of explore over here a little bit more. Oh, we got some more stuff to dig up, so that's very good. Oh, oh, we can we can dig for treasure. Okay, we should totally do that. Absolutely. Um, okay, we're gonna sell this. Let's dig for treasure. Huh. Open it up. It looks like we got another me, a goth boy with a hundred dollars. Oh, and now the treasure map is gone, so that's really cool, though. I think it's cool how that works. Um, I'll go ahead and sell that, and we'll go harvest this. I mean, this is a real simple way, I suppose, to um, make a little bit of money, right? All right, we got $40 from that, which is pretty good if I do say so myself. Found something else to dig, so we'll head on over there. We're just walking around all these people's backyards being all sorts of weird. Oh, somebody's calling my son. When did he get home? Boo boo. Oh, there you are. Okay. All right then. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get him to eat something real quick since he is home. And um, get his grub on. Maybe we'll invite one of his friends to come hang out and uh, shitty chat chat. Have some fun maybe. So wh who was one of the guys we met? We met... Joseph, who we didn't get along with that well, Lonnie and Walker. So why don't we go ahead and invite Walker over? I think Walker's a pretty cool kid. I think we might get along with him. Walker Ty will be right over. That's an awesome name. I like that name. I do. Wow, that was fast. Okay. So let's invite him inside. What's up, homie? How you do? Alright, so we're gonna chit chat with him for a little bit. High five. Yeah. Um, heartfelt compliments, ask about his day, brighten his day, um, gossip. Oh, Marissa and everybody came home with a good bit of money. No, who are you, girl? We don't know you. We don't want to know you. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, so Marissa's feeling disgusting. So I'm going to have her come and take a shower. And then since she is so tired, we'll have to send her to bed for at least a little while, but that's okay. Um, Anna, honey, Anna, you have your own bed, sweetheart. Go to sleep. There you go. If you're tired, go to bed. It's going to be okay. Why are you sleeping? Girl, get off your booty. You got a guest, young man. You have a guest. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so... We'll go back downstairs. Where did our buddy go? <gasps> Don't tell me he left already so soon. Did he leave and I missed that? Oh, no, he's swimming. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go back down here. And we will... Oh, maybe not. Um, or, or maybe we will. Okay, let's go swim. <laughs> we'll swim with our buddy. 
and then they can still talk to each other, which I think is pretty awesome. We're gonna splash him, or or not. <laughs> What the heck, dude? Like, I thought you were gonna come and hang out with us, not hang out with our dad. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna get Jefferson to go ahead and repair that real quick. And we're gonna tell him a funny story, uh, gossip, complain about parents, because, you know, that's life, always complaining about the parents. We're gonna have them monkey around a wee bit. Look at them. I hope they're having fun. Okay, he took it well. Okay, I didn't want him to get mad over it, you know? Because um, that would be, t that would totally be something that would happen. Is like, you kind of play around with somebody and then they get angry about it. It's like, uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to tell him a joke. Which, it seems to be going well. Um, we're going to give him a hug. We're going to deep, have a deep conversation with him. You know, really express our feelings <laughs> about life. Um, deep conversations are the best. I mean, come on. All right, we're going to tell him a gross joke and see how he responds to that. I mean, he's a boy, so I would imagine he'll respond to it f fairly typically of a boy. <laughs> okay, so it did go over well. That's good. Okay, we're going to brighten his day and discuss our interests. Oh, he's leaving. No. <laughs> but I guess it is almost 9 o'clock, so. Can't really blame him for that. Oh, love Lauren. Oh, baby. She misses her boyfriend. She misses Alexander. But yet she's afraid to tell him the truth. She's afraid that he might not. I can't remember if she told him already or not. I know that's really bad. That's my fault. But I can't remember. I feel like maybe she did, but regardless, he hasn't really come back over to see her, and that's making her real nervous. <laughs> um, so let's have a quick meal since she is very hungry. I want to have her go ahead and get something to eat before she heads to Betty Bye. Oh my god! Uh, are you using the toilet while you're talking to. My Jesus, I'm gonna need you to leave now. Now. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with you two? Y'all two are crossing all the damn boundaries that y'all do not need to be crossing as, you know, your relationship does not permit this kind of <laughs> behavior, basically. Um, I'm gonna have her go ahead and mop that up. That was so beyond awkward. I just don't even know what to say about it. To be quite perfectly honest, I just don't even know. I can't handle that situation. <laughs> At all. Um, okay, so as usual, Marissa's about to wake up in the middle of the freaking night. Girl, you gotta pee again? Damn. <gasps> She's in labor! Okay, so it's time... I'm going to go ahead and sell this so that we can put the bassinet there. Um, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I have the plague. Um, let's go ahead and have the baby. I don't even want to waste any time. All right, I'm going to bring up the name suggestions y'all have left. So let's look at our most recent... Let's look at the comments. Okay, view all comments. It's a boy! I'm always stuck having boys. Oh, uh, I wanna have a girl. Hmm. I mean, I, not that there's anything wrong with the boy. I think that's lovely, you know, yay. <laughs> but uh, we've had our boys. All right, so let me look at some names here. Um, If you hear something, my dog is scratching herself and making a bunch of noise. Let's see. Caden. Ooh, that's a cute one. Okay, I kind of, one of you guys suggested the name Chance, and I actually do like that name. That's a nice name. So we're going to name him Chance Langley, and that will be our little darling. <gasps> Welcome to the world, baby boy. Welcome. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and feed him real quick. Make sure he's all good to go. And we're going to talk to him. And I know you guys are convinced that I have the glitch because all we have are baby boys at this point. But when I've been playing my own household, my character, my sim, she had a girl. So it's not completely. I just think I'm just that unlucky when it comes to my OPs. Somehow I managed to con consistently have girls and or boys rather it sucks i want girl i want a girl dang it <laughs> i really do Alrighty, so we have welcomed to the family our sweet little chance langley now it is imperative that we get this girl something built outside something so what i'm thinking is um let's just try it let's just see what we can do so we'll do a very small room, okay? Something real small, um, 10, 1,000, that's not too bad. Um, now the problem is how are we gonna get up there? How are we gonna get up into this room, guys? Um, okay, that's not so bad. Um, let's just go ahead and do the cheapest we can, honestly. Because that's all we can afford at the moment. And we'll do some uh, basic handrails. All right, so far so good. And then we're just going to do a real nice little door here. Or we'll do one of these um, doors right there. I want to put it in the middle. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> all right, we'll put it on that side. It works. Okay. And um, I want to use this roof. Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe that's not gonna work as a uh, plant. Okay. Put it back there and put it there. And we'll dry her down a little bit. There we go. So far so good. It's gonna be real shabby. It ain't gonna be too cute. And we may not really get to decorate it yet. But um, what I am going to do um, is delete everything. Or actually, we could just take it with us, couldn't we? Oh, oh, dumb I! And then you don't have to buy all new stuff. Okay. So it's like, it can't really be completely independent of the main house, obviously, because um, she has to be able to um what am i trying to say here guys honestly i'm like having a, a massive brain fart at the moment she has to be able to get food and stuff from up there because i can't really afford to put a kitchen in here at the moment um so what kind of what are we gonna do i guess we can make it a little bit girly we'll put a nice little pink bed in here I kind of, I think I want to do it this way. Yes, I like that better. Mm-hmm. Don't you guys agree? I do like that better. Okay, and then we will go ahead and look at, let's look at some lights. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
I guess the uh, backyard apartment. And then last but not least, we're going to uh, eyedropper that and make sure it matches up with the main house. And then uh, one more, one more tiny detail. One more tiny detail. Just one more. I would like to put a porch light out um, front so they have like their own little, <gasps> this is nice. I like it. Okay, so it's not much right now, obviously. Well, you know what? What if we we have a little bit more money? So what if I? Hmm. How much can we stretch this, guys? Let's pull her back one more slot. Hey, this is a pretty big room. So it could be like legitimately like a loft. So that this is the um. This is the. Um, what am I trying to say here, y'all? <laughs> this is the living space, sort of. Um, and then we could eventually maybe put a TV here or something. And then over here is like the eating kitchen space and all that stuff. Okay, so we're very low on simoleons at the moment, but we're gonna get there. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it through this. Everything will be Gucci. Um, so let me try and put some basic kitchen essentials in here let's do some counters cheapest counters we can manage why this wow interesting okay bland co contemporary counters indeed bland indeed <laughs> all right so wow y'all are big i don't remember y'all being that large jesus jesus okay and we'll do one more like that and then I think we'll put um, real extra cheap fridge <gasps> right there. Oh boy, guys, are we going to be able to make it? We'll just barely be able to make it. The yum cooker. All right, let's see if there's anything in the main house that I can, <laughs> I can delete and do away with. Um, okay, obviously we can get rid of that. I don't, eventually we'll do something with this room, but as of right now, of course, we aren't doing anything with it. Um, we're gonna put the baby's bassinet over here, of course. Um, so yeah, as of this point, it's just like a real small little loft. It's not much, it doesn't have much. Um, I can't even really afford to put any more windows, tack any more windows onto it. <sighs> Lord help us, let's hope the bills don't come in anytime soon or we will be S-O-L. <laughs> but guys, I am going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you have not already. Thank y'all so much for watching today and please leave me your comments and suggestions down below. If y'all have any idea how to get rid of the... Um, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced it is a glitch at this point, but if you do know how to get rid of the glitch with the, you know, single gendered babies constantly, uh, let me know. Definitely let me know because I would love to, uh, to have that go away. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank y'all so much. Mwah! I'll see you guys next time. Bye.